Oh man, Coral, Coral Cove here. Park has some creepy Just music. Waiting for me to come along. Dang, yeah, literally must have been everyone in Coral Cove Park dropped their money and ran when they saw that sea monster. If there even is one. I saw that one first. Lufer, stop being such a butt. Like, come on. It's okay if you saw it first. It do you don't have to... You don't have to rub it in also. That is terrifying. <laughs> wow, that was that was clever and creative. What's in here? This looks like a theater. Man, I forgot how big Coral Cove Park is. Whoa, this jug is broken. We're going to need glue to get all those pieces back together. Ho oh, ho, lucky us. We've got it. All glue the pieces are fitting great, together. But I need to put the pieces in the right places. Okay. Thank goodness the outline is completed for us. That piece fit perfectly. Good one, Freddy. That, that piece fit from getting somewhere there. Boom. All done. Now let's hope the glue is waterproof. That is not how glue works. But okay. <laughs> Literally just created new matter. Just like new. That is not how glue works. <laughs> Oh, hey! Look at that mud skipper go! He seems to know exactly which puddles to jump in to get across. Or we could just take our own way. Why can't we jump in here? Whoa! We need to jump from puddle to puddle, just like the mud skipper did. Otherwise, he summons us a monsoon to, to swallow us whole? What? This doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so apparently, if we if we hop in the wrong order, then Noah's the flood for Noah's Ark comes and just washes us away. Don't ask why. <laughs> just trust and obey. For there is no other way. There we go! Good job! We made it! That wasn't so bad! It's a pair of glasses! That was a weird way of saying it, Luther. That wasn't so bad. Do I look smarter, Freddy? No. Way smarter, Luther. Let's put them away for safekeeping. Luther, they would make you look smarter if they actually fit you properly. <laughs> Never mind. Mud Skipper wants us out of his domain anyways. I truly believe that the Mud Skipper is the one responsible for that. Yeah, there's a lot to Coral Cove Park. I forgot. Oh, it's the mag er, the metal. That's a metal over there. I think you're right. The metal is too far away. If only it was attracted to my magnetic personality. Ha ha ha! Luther's telling better jokes than the clown is. Then again, that clown looks like he's seriously considering a career choice. And I, you know what? If he wants to, then I think we should encourage that. Alright, thanks lady. We'll be back. Uh, I swear she's slightly unhinged, though. Okay. So, first up. Here's a new jug. Check out this jug. It matches the rest of your set. It's like we've reunited the jug family. Yeah. Are you for real? I nope. can keep this jug? No. Nope. <laughs> of course. Here, take this glass bottle. Thank goodness it has a, the hey. just the right pitch that you needed. Yeah, that's not music. You're literally just blowing into jugs. All right, we should brave the green gravy. It says, 
Green gravy? What, no potatoes? <laughs> Unless I'm mistaken, I think green gravy is made from pistachios. So, ugh. That does not look like an appetizing color. Especially if it's not fruit flavored. Oh, there's- now Lufer ate it! I don't know what made- maybe it is random. Hmm, good. Yeah, like, Lufer likes green gravy, Freddy is not gonna like green gravy. Hot sprinkles. That sounds hot, hot, hot! What? It's like- oh, it's like sprinkles that you put on your birthday cake, but we also added some ghost pepper powder. It's our secret ingredient. Yeah, now Lufer is eating it. Maybe it's like, depending on, like, who eats it is decided when you enter the room. It's delectable. Lufer likes the weird flavors of taffy. It says butter flakes. Mmm, butter flavor. Not butterscotch, just butter flakes. Also, not butter itself. It's like, no, flakes of butters. Is that a different flavor from regular butter? Yup. Butter flakes, they're more than good. They're great. <laughs> they're great. <laughs> Give me that butter flakes. Okay, yeah, now Lufer is eating them all. Mmm, savory. Lufer is the kid who, like, loves the butter popcorn flavored jelly bellies. When we all know they're the worst. I'm sorry. I love garlic. I like taffy. Don't go putting garlic in my taffy. Garlic. Packs a punch. Yeah, um... I adore garlic. I put garlic in basically all of my food. I do draw the line at desserts, though. Okay, yeah, it must literally be you enter the room and it's randomly decided who will eat all of the taffy. Bah! That's nasty! Yeah, you don't want garlic in your taffy. I'm pretty sure Freddy hates that as well. What? What is this? Wasabi tots? Hot stuff! Lady, are you crazy? Good to eat taffy with. Well, I'd start with your teeth. Definitely your teeth. You don't want to swallow taffy whole. It can clog the esophagus. Thank you. That's helpful information. I want to know, A, what, B, why? We're gonna force Luffy to eat it, though. I think he'll probably like wasabi tots. Yeah, I know what wasabi is. Tots? Like tater tots, but they're made of wasabi, and then you smosh them down and make them into taffy? What? There's something seriously wrong with these people. Yuck, that's the worst thing I've ever tasted! Never mind, Lufu doesn't like it. <laughs> that does sound like it would be the worst thing I've ever tasted. You know when I said that, um, what was the one that I said was the worst flavor? Remember when I said briny shrimp was the worst flavor? I take that back. Okay, we're back to vanilla. Yeah, uh, briny shrimp I actually might take over whatever the crud wasabi tots are. Uh, I don't. I don't want to know. Oh, let's play the claw. If we spend all of our purple surgeons here, will we soft lock I'm the game? I'm going for the fake tattoos. <laughs> Maybe don't. It's steady. Go for the real tattoos, Freddy. I mean, what? Steady. Oh. I got a glow necklace. It's kind of pretty. Wow, I can't believe you actually got something. Wow. At least we got to play the game once before it broke. Yeah, that, and we got that pretty glow necklace It didn't just too. break, it I'll spontaneously it. combusted. Like nah, no, I'll hold on to it. I'm sure it'll come in handy sometime. What? Wow, that literally, we used the claw machine once. <laughs> oh, you know why it broke down? It's because it's like, wait, someone actually won at the claw machine? Does not come. 
that's their way of ensuring that they can keep making a profit. They make it blow up, so they have to rebuild it and make sure that p nobody can win at it. All right, dude, we found your glasses. Also, Freddy, what kind Here of? Are your glasses? <laughs> My yeah. glasses. My glasses. <laughs> so many good thumbnails. I love it. I can see. I can see. Thank you. All right, let's take Do that lens. Do we have the microscope lens? Yes. Please take that thing out of my sight. My glorious sight. I swiped that from a kid who was using a microscope. Because no, he wouldn't give me his glasses. You. I can't remember how much of a overlap there is between the two paths. I know, I know in one of the paths you have to do like the drills with the little fish, and then in a, another path you have to do something else with the army lady. That might be the only difference. I know there is a good amount of overlap. Oh, wait, what? Who is this? Oh, it looks like a nun. Can you work some magic on me, Clyde? I need a new look. Oh, Luther, your look suits you fine. Unless you were thinking of adding some color. A splash of red would look gorgeous against your green. I don't think we have time for that today. That would that would turn it into a Christmas game. It's okay. I imagine going to the barbershop there's like, hey Barber, I need a new look. He's like, no you don't. <laughs> that just makes you leave. <laughs> oh man. Wow. Alright, buddy. I was gonna blow it all to get the fake tattoos. Apparently Freddy engines. really wanted the fake tattoos. What does that say about her? But here, we can give them all to I'd him. I'd like one, please. They cost three purple sea urchins each. Can we give you some partially eaten something? No. Can we give you a glow necklace? Another purple Doesn't sea suit urchin. me. My arms are too small to wear it. You're still one short. Thankfully, he doesn't just swipe them. He'll remember how many you've Here's given him. Here's another purple sea urchin. Great. <laughs> He needs some he needs some love in his life. Or just a better job. One he's passionate about. Or even one that he can just handle. How about a riddle? How did Kipper pass the test to get into candy making school? Hmm. I don't know. It was easy. She fudged it. Oh. <laughs> That was pretty good. I like that. How about a pun? Well done. That's rare for this medium. Spare me. Uh oh. I just have decided this guy is my an alternate future version of me where I went into comedy and don't do well, but I still am proud of my puns. Dude, there is... You do know there is a trading card over here for you to take. Hey, Casey. Try this lens, Casey. <sighs> that did the trick. I can see through my microscope again. Thanks, Freddy and Luther. It's a that helps. pleasure. Can you give us something in return? Mold spores are amongst the most fascinating forms of life. Let's grow mold together, Freddy. <laughs> You're funny, Luther. <laughs> you don't grow mold. It grows itself. Oh, here. I know this is a little big for a microscope, but, but take a look at this. Could you take a look at this food sample? We found it in Coral Cove Park. It's a little too big for the microscope. What? This food is highly unique. It's a kind of sea cheese, and it's only found in Tetra Caves, and it's typically only eaten by sea monsters. Jackpot! Mm-hmm. Just as I suspected. Come to think of it. Look at this key I found the other day. It has traces of the same food substance on it. 
Why don't you take it? It may come in handy for you. Thanks, Casey. Casey Luther, just knew all that information off the bat. Look inside this tetra cave for clues. All right, well, thanks, Casey. I appreciate it. All right, we got to go back to the park. That's not going to do me any good. It's not? All right. I think we can use this to get the metal. Maybe the extendo arm will reach that metal. Go, Freddy, go! The extendo arm is the first... The extendo arm can't quite reach the metal. We'll have to find another way to get that metal. Gee, you'd think that metal would be attracted to us. I think we'll need more than our magnetic personalities to get that metal. Oh, yeah. We still- oh, yeah! Oh, no! The guy's still dying! <laughs> He's getting crushed by, uh, on his neck! I forgot. Well, first off, here's your ju here's your bottle. I hope this is a big enough bottle. Oh, splendid. Let's give it a whirl, shall we? I feel like this game is just a bit more of a trading side quest than other Freddy Fish and Humongous Entertainment what games. What a wonderful gift you've brought me. You've saved me the pain of dismantling my work. Like, I feel like other Freddy Fish games are more puzzle-based, whereas this one is literally just like, I'll give you what you need if you can give me this. I'll give you that if you give me this. And then it's literally just you find one thing and then basically go along the trading sequence. Do you still need the wrench? Take that tool of destruction out of my sight. My Sorry. creation is safe in her permanent home. Okay, yeah. Oh. Literally, well, literally everybody in Coral Cove has some uh, serious issues. All right, let's, let's, let's get out of here. Let's save this man's life. He's literally been, like, getting crushed to death for the last hour. I got the bolt! This extendo arm is a miracle of modern science. I'll say. So, homie, if that Never an enemy eats no it. No pain, no gain doesn't know what they're talking about. Oh, no. I guess we're all done with the extendo arm anyway. No, we weren't. Think of all the uses for it. How does it even eat that? The sea anemones don't eat things like that. Are you kidding me? All right, Nick. We're so close. All I need okay, never mind. is something to tighten this We, we lifted the sign place. temporarily and like he still wrench? didn't move his neck. I think he's dead. I literally think he's dead. <laughs> Wedge used a wrench. I hope Nick has a lot of cool knickknacks that are genuinely going to help us. And I hope he gives it to us for free because we're out of money. We did it! You're free, Nick. I like it. I like it a lot. Now we can see what's in your store. It's cool to be back in business. His store looks kind of creepy from here. It's it's reminding me of Ursula's Lair or like the voodoo shop from Princess and the Frog.